Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now this question comes from a user on Facebook and essentially they want an animation to loop over and over again. I think in their use case it was a strobe light so the light was on, off, on, off, on, off. You get the picture. So there's several ways we can achieve this but I think it's good to learn the fundamentals of an F curve modifier. Now don't be scared of the graph editor, it's probably the most powerful tool in an animator's toolbox that you'll get. So you can see that the default cube here is jumping up and down like your girlfriend on a Saturday night. So I'm going to quickly restart this scene and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So I'll just go to File, New, General. Let's not save this. And I'm going to open up the properties of the default cube here. And I'm going to enable Auto Keyframe just to make things a little bit quicker to be honest. And on the Z axis I'll insert a keyframe on frame 20. I'll move it up 2 metres. And on frame 40 I'll move it down to zero meters. So we get this basic jump animation. Let me make this bigger. Like so. So the shortcut to get into the graph editor is shift and F6 I believe, but the quickest way to do it for me personally is just to go to the graph editor here. And we can see our keyframes. Now we have Bezier interpolation and what that essentially means is it's easing in and out. You can actually see the bell curve here. See the way it goes slow, fast, slow. Now this might be fine for your animation, but you can change the interpolation mode. So while we're here, we might as well do this. I'll just select the keyframes, I'll right click interpolation mode and I'll make it linear. And we'll get this kind of peak. Pretty much a triangle. There's no fastness, there's no speed. Everything's linear, it's up and down. Once we're happy with that animation, we can select these keyframes again. And we can press Control Shift and M, but it's a bit convoluted. The best way to do it is go to Channel and go to add an F curve modifier. Now you can see that we actually have a few different options here, but the one that we're interested in is cycles. So we'll hit cycles, and there we go. Everything's pretty much ready to rock and roll. And if I hit play in the timeline, perfect. Now while we're here, we we'll might as well take a quick look at other things as well. So if you select keyframe, you'll notice here on the right hand side that there's a new tab. So we have the F curve modifier, and we have the modifier underneath, and we can change the count, so maybe you only want to do it a certain time, or maybe you only want to repeat it five times. So after the count, we can actually change this to something like three, and if we scroll out, you'll notice here on frame 160 that this stops. So we can actually use the power of modifiers, the power of modifiers, yes. But let's quickly show you how to make a strobe light go on and off. Uh, let's quickly set up the scene again. And let's just delete this. Uh, let's add in a UV sphere. And what we'll do is we'll actually use the emission channel here. So we have a UV sphere. So this gives you an example that you can add an F curve modifier to pretty much anything, to be honest. So if I go to the material properties, I'll add a new material. And let's bring up the material properties here. Let's jump into the shader editor. And let's go to emission. And let's quickly bring this up so we can see our timeline. On frame zero. Like pretty much insert a keyframe on frame 20 we'll make the strength 10 we'll right click insert a keyframe again and on frame 40 we'll bring this back down to zero and we'll insert a keyframe we pretty much have the same fundamentals as we did with the default cube but this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the graph editor and you can see here that we actually have a material properties and if i bring this down and open a shader tree we have the principal shader and we have the mission strength so again, I can select these keyframes, I can go to channel, and I can add in an F curve modifier, or we can add cycles, and if we actually jump into the render viewport, you can now see the light switching on and off. And again, if you want to make it a bit more linear, uh, you can right click interpolation mode, I'll make it constant actually, it means it's on off, on off, on off, there's no interpolation between the curve, and that's pretty much how you use an F curve modifier, or that's the basics. And hopefully that answers your question, mate, on Facebook. Do me a favour, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, yeah, and take it easy.